Hey, good morning to you. My interest today is in the book of Nehemiah, chapter number two. Nehemiah comes to the city of Jerusalem, and the Bible says this in verse number 17. He came and he said, I'm come to build the wall of Jerusalem. And he said that we'd be no more disgrace. And he said, then I told them of the good hand of my God, which was upon me. And the king's words that he had given me about rebuilding the wall, their response, the people of Jerusalem's response was, uh, let us arise and build, and they strengthened their hands for the good work. Verse 20 said, then the God of heaven, he will prosper us. So when you look at Nehemiah, when he first heard about the problem, he didn't do anything about it. When he heard about the problem, he began to pray. And in this chapter, he's moving from prayer to prosperity moving from prayer to prosperity. How do you move from prayer to prosperity? First of all, there was a problem. As a result of the problem, he prayed. Then, as a result of his prayer, God opened the door for him to receive permission to move on the problem. Artaxerxes the king gave him permission. When the permission was granted, then he made a proclamation. Hey, the good hand of God is upon my life to do this. Then there were folks that stepped up and participated with him in it, and they prepared themselves for the good work. And when they prepared themselves for the good work, it was then that the Bible said, God's going to prosper what we do. And that is really a recipe for how we ought to deal with anything in our life. Uh, problems of any sort or kind or projects of any sort or kind. We start with prayer. We make a proclamation after we receive permission from God. As a result of that, people will participate with us to help us, and then we will prepare ourselves for the work, and then God will give us prosperity in what we're doing. Hey, learn to move from prayer to prosperity. God bless.